5G offers a significant reduction in latency, making it ideal for a whole new set of services. But what exactly is latency? And how is it really going to impact our daily lives? Tech 5G is the fifth generation of mobile cellular technology. And unlike previous generations, it introduces new innovations that allow mobile networks to address the needs of vertical industries. Specifically, ultra-high bandwidth with enhanced mobile broadband, millions of connections with massive machine-type communications, and super-low latency with improved reliability. For more information on EMBB and MMTC, check out my other videos, because in this one, we're going to take a look at ultra-reliable, low-latency communication. Latency is how quickly a signal, or data in our case, can be sent across the network and in most cases, it manifests itself in the form of a delay. Maybe you've had an experience making an international call where the delay is significantly longer than you might find with a local call. Well, it seems pretty obvious. That's because the signal has to travel through more equipment and connections, each adding to the overall latency or delay that you might hear. For non-real-time services like file downloading and video streaming, latency isn't really critical. After all, if you start streaming a 4K movie, latency is only going to manifest itself as a slightly longer wait time for the movie to start. Once it begins playing, the effects of latency disappear. But if you're trying to use a real-time service where interactivity is important, like turning that video streaming into a video call, latency quickly becomes an issue. Video conferencing, financial transactions, remote operation of machinery, automation of factories, smart traffic lights, are just a few examples of digital services where latency needs to be as low as possible. While previous generations of mobile networks did meet certain latency requirements, none were really considered candidates to address the needs of vertical industries and critical real-time applications. 5G specifically introduces ultra-reliable low-latency communication, or URLLC, to provide consistent network characteristics that allow new applications to be built. Latency in 3G is typically 100 milliseconds, and in 4G, 20 to 30 milliseconds. Even 5G enhanced mobile broadband latency is 4 to 5 milliseconds. 5G URLC provides ultra-responsive connections with latency of 1 millisecond on the air interface, and 5 milliseconds end-to-end -end between the end device and the 5G base station. More importantly, it's ultra-reliable and available 99.9999% of the time. Keep in mind this is a specific 5G feature and doesn't apply to all 5G connections. For URLLC connectivity, only low to medium data rates of 50 kilobits per second to 10 megabits per second are supported. Ultra-reliable low-latency communication means mission-critical services can be supported over 5G networks, including real-time control of devices, faster financial transactions, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, and ultra-responsive traffic systems. URLLC is already opening up a new world of services, like remote surgery, where doctors halfway around the world use robotics to perform precision medical procedures to patients in remote locations. Autonomous vehicles and mines not only operate more safely, they can now reliably operate faster, improving the efficiency of mining activities. And advanced augmented reality experiences can map critical information to real-world items on drivers' windshields in real time. URLLC will bring new real-time experiences to consumers, but will also allow operators to build mobile services into vertical applications, ultimately accelerating digital transformation and becoming an essential pillar for our future digital world. Thanks for watching. Testing, testing. I think the audio's off. Can you check it again? Just check it again.